Are you worried about getting a vasectomy? Let's dive into the data and statistics showing the great success rate of this procedure and the low risk of this procedure. All right, first, the NIH, the National Institute of Health of the US government, states that a vasectomy is the most effective form of male sterilization. Second, the probability of success of a vasectomy in preventing pregnancy is 99.99%. And the probability of failure is 1 in 10,000. Now this clock for counting success or failure happens after the three month mark. Um, so th three months post vasectomy, that's like time zero. Because three months post vasectomy, that's when you do a um, semen test to see if you, to make sure your sperm is zero in your semen. All right, but even the vasectomies are great. There are some long-term complications. So first one, or possibilities. Uh, first one, sperm granuloma, 15 to 40 percent. It's kind of like a, think of the pea, uh, the pea vegetable, the little round green thing. Um, it happens if like sperm clump up, they can clump up on your testicle or on the vase, blah, blah, blah. 15 to 40 percent is what the data says. I don't think it's that high. Um, and they don't always cause you pain. So I could have a sperm granuloma right now, but it's not affecting me. And also the doc I did my vasectomy with says, yeah, you know, my patients maybe have gotten them, but they haven't complained, so um, either they have granuloma and it causes no pain or they have no granuloma. All right, second, epididymitis. The epididymis is a little sac on the back of each of your testicles. It basically um, takes in the teenage sperm and grows it to mature adult sperm. If you have the bottom half of the vase connected to your testicles closed, then sperm are still being created and it's building up pressure there, which can annoy the epididymis, cause, causing epididymitis, which is a form of post vasectomy pain syndrome, which is the third one. Oh, epididymitis is one to 3% as well. And then PVPS, post vasectomy pain syndrome, basically um, umbrella term for chronic pain after vasectomy, 5%. Um, I didn't have any of these, everything went perfect with mine. So if you're considering getting a vasectomy, 